Hello, so this is um, another deal of the day. It is that time of year when there are sales after the holidays. Um, and I'm gonna show you a few things that I picked up uh, really in the last like two weeks. Um, so the first thing I got, um, I talk about Eddie Bauer a lot in the rewards program. Um, so they sent me a $10 uh, rewards coupon because um, I bought a coat so I think I must have gotten enough points to get that at some point so um, this is a uh, was $20 originally um, it is a connect travel wallet um, and I'm going to open it up real quick so it's nice it holds basics your cards it's got like a string here um, just nice it actually I have a smaller phone so it actually fits my phone um, and just good for travel. Uh, I think I'm going to keep it or I might keep it as a gift, um, but I am probably going to be traveling abroad in a few months, um, potentially, and uh, that would be helpful. So we'll see. It's going to be one or the other. But um, that was, how much was it? 40% off. Um, most of their stuff in their store was, was a percentage off. And then uh, the $10 coupon uh, brought it down to $2.25. Uh, the next thing I'll show is going to be, I did one purchase at Banana Republic. Um, so the dress I'm about to show you is, was $149 originally. They were having a sale on, I think everything on, was on sale in the, the, um, in the store, but it was actually 60% off sale items, which is pretty rare. Um, usually it's like 40 um, so this was marked down to $35.97, um, and it was 60% off of that. So with, before tax was $14.39, with tax it was $15.47, but it's this cute black and white, it's a spaghetti strap, it actually crisscrosses in the back like that, um, and yeah, it's a slight flare here. Uh, but I thought it was cute. I thought it was, uh, I could wear it for a lot of different things here. Um, but like I said, that was about $15 with tax. Um, the next place I went to is Loft. Um, so I actually <laughs> closed them down that night. Uh, it was New Year's Eve and the, play, the stores closed at 6. So I showed up right after work and was like, I'm sure they wanted me out of there. But um, I got three things there um, for the uh, total of $22.44, which is great because the first thing I'm going to show you was marked as $39.50 originally, which I would never spend. Um, it was marked down to $9.99. Um, it is a long, um, it's hard to show up on camera here. Let me see if I can do that. Uh, there you go, a little bit. So it's a gold necklace, um, just a delicate details there. It's long. Um, I think it's cute. Uh, it was, like I said, originally $39.50, marked down to $9.99, and then it was, I guess was 50% off sale. Um, so that ended up being uh, $4.99. Um, I got a shirt here. Um, this originally, I gotta look real quick. It's got, apparently they were really trying to get rid of it. It's a t-shirt here. And it was, I'm guessing it was probably $29.99, $29.50 originally. Uh, it's just this uh, almost heathered look of pink and white. It's just a t-shirt right there. Um, nice light cotton. I probably wouldn't wear it too much right now, but soon enough it'll be warm. Um, and like I said, that was originally $29.50, um, the, it was marked under six eighty eight. dollars 88 it was the final sale, and it is, um, it was 50% off that, so that was $3.44 for that t-shirt, and then this sweater, I admired some other people wearing sweaters like this, and I was like, ah, let's just try it, um, I just think it looks comfy, uh, I don't know what they exactly call it, but it's a soft material, it's a sweater, um, it was originally $79.99. It was marked down to $24.88. Uh, $24 what am I talking about? $24.88. Um, and then I got it for $12.44. And it is this oatmeal colored um, long. It goes down about midway through my to my calf. It's 
two pockets there, um, but it's a cardigan. Um, so total for the top, the sweater, and the necklace, it was $22.44 after tax. Um, it was $20.87 before tax. And then the final things I got, as you can see, I have a Bath & Body Works um, bag. Um, I would recommend when you're going to Bath & Body Works sales to go to multiple Bath & Body Works if you have that luxury in your town because you can find different stuff. I found different stuff for every single one. Actually, some of the stuff I'm not showing you, um, I was going in to see if I could use my, I think it was 10 off of 40, I believe. Um, and I wasn't finding enough that I wanted that was 40. So I, I got a few soaps for like $1.50. I think I might have gotten a, maybe one body wash, maybe not. Maybe I just got soaps. Um, but then they had a pop-up shop of um, oh, home goods, or not home goods, what am I talking about? Uh, White Barn uh, candles, um, because it is headquartered where I live, and so we have them. We used to have separate stores, now they're kind of combined with um, the Bath & Body Works, but uh, they had, I think, just for the holidays, this little shop, and it actually had different scents. I had been in three different Bath & Body Works, and these had different scents than everywhere else. Uh, so definitely check it out if you're looking for a particular scent. Um, I found different scents at every place. So there was a, uh, one of the first stores I went to that ended up buying anything. I couldn't, I, the ones that I considered buying, uh, I couldn't find that anywhere else. So um, this was a little itty bitty shop. Um, so the first one I have here is Cinnamon Caramel Swirls. Um, and it looks like it is, I'm gonna read the back. Gooey caramel, grated cinnamon, vanilla bean, maple brown sugar, and essential oil. So I was looking for the pumpkin pecan waffles. It's my favorite, but I couldn't find it. So we got that instead. And all of them have cute little, um, cute little jars and things like that. The next option, which I realized I actually have one in my stash already, but that's all right. It's pretty, I'll use it eventually. It was actually listed. So this is the interesting thing. So that, that here, this one was $24.50, um, but these, they were all marked off as $10.50, so that didn't matter, like these were all $10.50, um, but this one was actually $26.50. I wonder because of the um, pretty package I'm about to show you, but it's peach bellini, uh, white peach, sparkling prosecco, orange, and essential oils, and it just smells peachy, uh, but I think that's pretty, that jar there after you use it to use it for something else decorative. Um, the next item, I like this one a lot. It's probably maybe my second favorite scent that uh, Bath & Body Works. Um, it's Black Cherry Merlot, which is dark cherry, raspberry, uh, scrumptious Merlot. And $26.50 as well. So this is actually another, um, I don't know, maybe that's what they're going up to. <laughs> but it's another, oh, it's not even in view here. Uh, another pretty um, container so I wonder if maybe that's why they've gone up a bit or if maybe those are just the new containers and they're now $26.50 which is crazy um I remember when I'm trying to remember I feel like these candles used to be like $16 so you get them for like four bucks when um the 75% off sales happen so they've gone up quite a bit and then the final thing I have um is it's called New York they had a bunch of different city scents like I think it was London, it was like a lemon and tea biscuits. Uh, and this is basically cherry cheesecake. So the description is cherry vanilla, juicy red cherries, or creamy vanilla, juicy red cherries, graham cracker crust. Um, so the guy asked, he's like, well, what do you like? Um, it definitely, I'd say it smells most like cherry. Yeah, and probably the vanilla a little bit too. I'd say the cherries, the, I mean, I guess that makes sense, cherry cheesecake, but the cherry is the most strong note there. Um, he's like, what do you like? And I'm like, I like fr uh, food scents. Uh, and so, because um, he was trying to get me to get like floral scents and things like that, and I wasn't super excited about those. So, um, all together, um, those ended up being, I probably didn't need these, so this is probably my bad purchase, but um, it totaled, well, let's say the total discount is $70. The subtotal was $32, and then I had 10 off. No, it was $32 was the subtotal with a ton off 50 or 40. So I got just above uh, the uh, amount I needed to use the, the coupon. And then, um, yeah, with the discounts. So 
it would have been a hundred and oh my god, hundred and four dollars and hundred and five dollars something like that, and it was thirty four for four of those. So not bad. Um, I think they're nice gifts if I don't end up using them all. So not wasted by any means, but. Um, that's it for now. I may have even gone to the um, Victoria's Secret semi-annual sale yet, so I'm considering going to that. Um, I think it ends this weekend, but that's what I found for now. Um, hopefully that gives you some inspiration. Um, I'm always, I'm kind of switching between, although I did get gift cards, so I could um, go normal store shopping, but I kind of switch between uh, normal store shopping and thrift store shopping so you kind of get that shopping bug but you don't want to spend a lot of money oh my god I spend like usually like 10 bucks at the thrift store and get basically what you see here um, so yeah so that's always something especially if you have a good thrift store by you um, the one that I shop at is great for being very inexpensive like most expensive things I bought in there was like eight dollars and it was a jack of coat um, and good quality they must pick out stuff that isn't the best so um, and I don't mind spending a while hunting but um, hopefully you're having a great day um, and we'll talk to you soon have a good night bye